Rais William Ruto aliahidi kuajiri wa huduma wa afya 1020 haswa katika siku mia moja za kwanza alipoingia usukani pamoja na kuahidi kuimarisha sekta ya afya kwa jumla. Mwaka mmoja baadaye madaktari wanatishia kugoma haswa kufuatia ukosefu wa malipo, ukosefu wa mazingira mwafaka ya kufanyia kazi na ukosefu wa dawa hospitalini. Jambo ambalo mtazamaji wanalaumu serikali zote mbili. Je, serikali ya Kenya kwanza iko katika mwenendo sawa wa kutimiza UHC? I William Samoei Ruto. Ni mwaka mmoja tangu serikali ya Kenya kwanza kuchukua usukani na washikadao katika sekta ya afya wanasema huenda ahadi zilizotolewa zikasalia tu kwa hivyo. Kwa ni bado wa Kenya wengi wanalazimika kutumia hela zaidi kupata matibabu. Haswa wakati Kenya inajiandaa kuzindua mradi wa UHC kwa mara ya nne. We still have many county based contracts. We have the universal uh, coverage contracts. We have some they call professional casual contracts and we have those on PNP earning different salaries. Yet these people are in the same rota doing the same work, seeing the same patients for the same number of hours. So that promise of harmonizing to ensure that equal pay for equal work. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza iliahidi kazi kwa wahudumu wa afya huku ikisema itabadilisha sekta ya afya. Lakini kwa upande wao wahudumu wa afya wanasema mengi bado yanahitajika kutekelezwa. The government of Kenya kwanza really knew the gaps that existed at the time of campaign. And that's why they give an absolute number of health workers that ought to be have employed within 100 days and see if failure to this 100 uh, this number 20000 employed within 100 within 100 days i know within a year means that something that is missing jana madaktari waliandamana hadi afisi ya wizara ya afya wakitaka serikali kuu na za county kuwajibikia sekta ya afya as you bring the health promoters on board which is a very good thing there must be a commensurate staffing improvement for the mainstream healthcare workers the unemployment the health workforce which actually will even help them drive the agenda of the UHC. Must be said, the petition we gave out yesterday, we talked about the new collective bargaining agreement, which also right in the constitution. So these issues that we had presented for last year, and again part of this year, and there's been discussions on them, if they're not resolved, I am not threatening, but it's a reality that we will go on strike. Zaidi ufisadi ulioikumba sekta ya afya umesababisha serikali ya Kenya kwanza kuanzisha miradi ya kuimarisha mashirika mengi kama vile NHIF na shirika la afya la KMA haswa ya hivi juzi ikiwa sakata ya ufisadi katika shirika la Kemsa la shilingi bilioni 3.7 ya neti za mbu chini ya Global Fund I want, I want to give you my commitment I will clean up Kenza whatever it takes Mr President whatever it costs I will clean it up too kwa upande wao washikadao wanasema iwapo serikali haitazingatia uovu ulioko pamoja na kuzingatia wahudumu wa afya uenda mradi wa UHC pia hautafanikiwa wakati huu pia Helen Aura NT